Oh, that's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little bast? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. Oh, come on. There. But I can get through. Can't climb out. This must be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. shiny there.
this. Metal door, closed. Maybe this device I found can help. A shape, it's connected to the door somehow. More light. device, like the one I found. You think I want it this way? It's the best I can do. He's right behind you. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. But look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but... We can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Show me. Show me again. I can do. He's right behind you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. But look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Sure does love his little big man.
did last night? Well, we did. Kind of. Director Evans invited everyone to gather in the community room. Don't know where she got the party hats. That was a ghoulish touch. So they always said watching the clock tick down to midnight, and I'm thinking, am I the only one who gets the symbolism of this? It might have been worth it if Skylar had gotten drunk again, but I seem to be a mistake she doesn't want to repeat. I saw them lining up in the community room. Like cattle in a slaughterhouse, but smiling at each other. Shauna handing out meds like being alive is some kind of pain to be eased. Well, not me. I don't want to go quiet. I don't want to trail off. I want a period at the end of my life sentence, not an ellipsis. Hell, <laughs> an exclamation mark. So if that upsets whoever finds this, too bad. I don't know anyone, anything, anyone. Why did they die here? What happened to them? Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come! <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! <sighs> well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, we will learn to hunt. to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. <sighs> the wilds can be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now. You're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called Salve Brush. Come, 
Gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. They may taste bitter, but they can save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of All Mother's embrace. Embrace? The Nora tribe watches these lands, and keeps out the most dangerous machines. Usually. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Mm. Aloy, a machine's coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. There. Now stay low. They don't want... No, Aloy. Such machines are called Watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. Walking is quieter than upright. Wait for it. That's the last of them. Let's move on. You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. Ignore him. We are outcasts, and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. And he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. There. See them? These are called striders. Ha! Get! Why'd you chase them off? 
<sighs> to show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Those will do. Follow. can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them, draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy, unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. Come, girl, it's safe now. Harvest the kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Good. Now, gather stalks of Ridgewood from the plants over there. Use the stalks as arrow shafts, and metal shards for arrow heads. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Stay low in the grass, and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Aloy. Strider. One of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter, if she's careless. You must study the brain. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? on its back. Is that a weakness? Yes. How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. That plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Again! Keep firing! You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy! The one running the Brave Trails! 
follow Aloy. Quick! their paths. Almost there.
plaything. Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips! They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now. Back to Mother's heart. should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Mother! my mother. Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? <sighs> it's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It will be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves. But to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proving. I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it will take years. Start training? Yes. Follow.
Rost! 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 Where is he? Two days before the proving and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? What's he doing up there? He's just standing there. What's going on with him? Aloy, you're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. But I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace and hunt until you've gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. The North Gate? At the edge of the Embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something else bothering you? No. I'm fine. Are you worrying about what happens... after the Proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast. To be shunned. 
Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't... There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. <sighs> okay. Anything else you want me to do while I'm down in the embrace? Oh... Uh, Odd Grata might be out of food by now. You could hunt a week's worth of meat for her, if you find the time. <sighs> Wouldn't mind, if she'd say thanks just once. <sighs> Grata follows the law. Her science towards us is honorable, not an insult. If you say so. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Karst a visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. <sighs> and I'm glad he does. I want to buy a tripcaster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. Something's really bothering him. The he thinks I'm gonna abandon him. He's wrong. The embrace. My whole life I've never gone beyond this valley. That'll change after the proving. Two days. Two days until I get answers. Two days and I'll know who she was. And why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. Alright. Time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. Scrabbling a bit.
Never know when I might need these. Look out below! Please, a word? You want to talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? Why would your daughter hunt a scrapper on her own? It's my fault. I went after it first, and it tore up my leg. I barely got away, and I left a spear impaled in the machine. That spear was made by Adina. My mate, who died last year. It means everything to Arana. She, she went after the scrapper to get it back. You said Arana went to Mother's Cradle? Yes, southeast of here. I forbid her from going, but ever since her mother died, she's become impossible. Damn it, look at me. A widower, now a cripple. Father that can't find his daughter. Please. Help me set things right. You know the Matriarchs might cast you out for speaking to me, don't you? I don't care. I tried looking for her myself and my leg gave out. Just find her. I'll accept any punishment if it means she's safe. I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you. Arana's still in danger. What else do you need? I'll be on my way. Arana. Sounds like she's in trouble. I can't get down! Help! Help! Somebody, please! I'm stuck up here! Be fast. 
hallucinating. They weren't looking for me. I'm stuck up here! Somebody, please! I'm surrounded! I need help! Okay. I can't Sorry, get I down! Know. Talk to you for a minute. Thank you. I thought those watchers were going to tear me apart. Your father sent me after you. It's time to go home. I figured. But I can't go back until I get my mother's spear from that scrapper. That spear must mean a lot to you. My mother made it not long before she died. I can't believe my father lost it. He didn't mean to. Scrappers are dangerous. I know. I just can't stand the idea that it might be gone forever. How did you wind up in that tree? I tracked the scrapper to mother's cradle. Caught a glimpse of it too, but then a watcher saw me and called his pack. My old mother, I'm just not a good enough hunter to get that spear back, am I? Your father is worried sick about you. He gets worried if I go ten steps to relieve myself in the bushes. He just... He doesn't want to lose you, Alana. I know. But I do wish he wouldn't yell at me so much. I'll look for your spear. You will? Oh, thank you. Go find your father. His leg gave out while he was searching for you, just south of Mother's heart. Oh, no. Okay, I'll go to him right away. Thanks again. Braids will take forever to dry.
Hardy little plant. He'll help. This trail ends here. Must be where she saw the scrapper. If I follow its tracks, I should be able to find that spear. Mother's greedy. Trail ends here. I'll bet it crossed the river. Better check the other side. Time to see Karst and get a trip caster. Make this quick.
time to get that spear. A well-made weapon. Arana will be happy to have it back. Tasty. Can't be too prepared. No one else around. Looks safe to meet. My guess is he'll be waiting for me. There he is. Looks nervous. Well, well, well. An outcast on my doorstep. All mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. <laughs> Is there a reason why you're acting so cranky today? Once you run the proving and get made a brave, you'll deal with traitors in Mother's heart. Maybe I don't like losing customers. Traitors who don't break the law and deal with outcasts, you mean? That's right. Our days of crime will be behind us, so long as you keep quiet. Last time I visited, you had a tripcaster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. Took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. You've got yourself a trip caster. Practice how to use it someplace else, all right? My life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over. Really? Could have fooled me. <laughs> Will you be around later, in case I want to make another trade? I'll be here. Same as usual, bring me the parts you harvest from any machines you hunt. The better the parts, the more shards I'll pay. Be sure to take a close look at my inventory, though. Who knows? Maybe I've got something that could give you an edge in the proving.
all. Are you worried I'm going to tell someone that you trade with outcasts? I don't think you're the kind who talks, but you never know. You can stop worrying. The secret's safe with me. Yeah, that's what I figured. But I don't mind hearing it. The only person I've ever told about our trades is Rost. Yeah, well, not like he can turn me in even if he wanted to. Law and duty sort of a man, that Rost. I don't know how you stand it. You really don't know why he was cast out? I've told you no. I don't think anyone knows what he did, but it must have been serious because his term is for life. Why do you take the risk, trading with outcasts? Every time you ask. If a big, meaningful talk is what you're after, move along. It's because you used to be one, isn't it? Yeah. Got caught poking around one of the metal ruins out beyond the Embrace. Matriarch said I was tainted and gave me five years. What did you see in the ruins? Nothing I can make sense of. After my shunning, I tried living back in Mother's heart, but... Everyone I knew had moved on, and there were so many people everywhere I turned. I like it better out here. I guess that concludes our business. All right. Good luck in the proving. Blessing of all mother and all that. Talk to me. Don't think I'd be very nice. I will not be provoked by an outcast. Cast up to.
stocking up. Mother be praised. Aloy's back with the spear. First you send Arana back to me, and now you've got the spear. When I first called out to you for help, I didn't even know if you'd speak to me. I'm glad you did. Me too. I can't believe you got the spear back. Your mother knew how to craft them. It's of exceptional make. I'll never be the crafter she was, but she did pass along a few tricks. I'd be happy to take a look at your spear. Thank you. It sounds like she was special. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, because of you, I still have the spear to remember her by. You didn't have to help us, but you did. She would have admired that. Thank you, Aloy, for everything. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate.
nutritious. Even when my belly and hands are empty, that you hold me in your embrace. <laughs> Hello, Grotta. All oh, mother, since I was cast out, have I not been constant as the river flows? Have I not kept the vows as the stones do? Show me your grace, all oh, mother, and provide for me once more. Good news, Grotta. Once again, all mother has brought you rabbits. All oh, mother. Your voice cracks like the distant thunder. I hear the songs of grief, all mother. I would join the call, but I left my prayer beads atop the eastern overlook. I am afraid. Wait at your camp for me, Grotta. I'll see what I can do. Going down fast. meat. calling out for? Do you need help? I have nothing against outcasts. Far from it. But I shouldn't talk to you. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't see anyone else around to help. I guess you're right. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be callous. My brother was cast out, but his sentence has ended. He, he should have come home, but he didn't. And, and his camp was covered in blood. You, um, you said your brother's camp was soaked with blood? The Braves went looking for him, and, and that's what they found. All I can think about is what might have happened. Is he really dead? Or maybe just wounded? Is he suffering? Does he need help? I can't stand it not knowing. What are you doing out here all alone? Each day I cut a notch on the wall so I knew Brahm's sentence was over. Then I cut three more. 
but he still hadn't come back. I begged the matriarchs to send braves to find him, and all they found was a blood-soaked camp. The braves said he must be dead, but I have to know the truth. So I came out looking for him. Why was your brother cast out? Rom was always a little different. A little touched. One of the hunters had a cruel heart and never let him alone. I was gone but an hour, and the hunter said after him like always, but this time, Brahm struck back with a rock and split the man's skull. Spirits made him do it, he said. Whispers of the forgotten. It cost him ten years. I never should have left him alone. What do you mean, forgotten? All mother curses blasphemers who won't repent banishing them from her eternal memory. Those lost spirits are the forgotten. Brahm used to say they spoke to him, told him to do things. It was such a burden for him, and, and there was nothing I could do to help. I'll do what I can to find your brother. You will? Then let me come with you. I won't be a bother. I know how to stay out of sight. I'm faster on my own. If that is how it must be... Just find him then, please. Good for an old remedy. Just stay out of their way for now.
need this. Fresh as it comes. Be bumped camp. Better clear out those watchers. But no body. There's gotta be more to this. Looks like a few drops of blood lead away from the camp. Who 
Whose knife is this? Did someone attack Brom with it? Looks like more blood leading away from here. Someone bring the blood to the camp? The trail of blood ends here, but whoever left it must have also left tracks. Hello? The blood. If Brom did this, why does he want people to think he's dead? And why desecrate the shrine? Hmm, what are those scrappers picking at?
like it was a watcher. If it's Brom, he definitely knows how to handle his spear. Keep that for later. Someone loaded these supplies. Brom was an outcast for a long time. Why take food and gear now? myself before I hurt her. I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. You, you're not a spirit. What do you want? I want you to step away from the edge, Brom. No. Leave me alone. Can't you see I need time to think? I, how, how, how am I supposed to think when everybody is shouting at me? I'm not shouting. I know you're a good listener. So come listen to me, just as you would the others. They... they say not to listen. <laughs> but... Alara always said, never... Ignore a speaker, I can see. <laughs> All right, I'll hear you out. That's better. Now tell me, what's troubling you? Spirits of the forgotten. Souls cursed by the All Mother. Their voices never let me be. They want me to do things, hurt people. If I go back to the Nora, they might make me hurt Alara. And I... I'll kill myself before I let that happen. Do you have to listen to the spirits, Brom? 
They're speaking to me right now. Always with me. They take care of me. Keep me company. Help me. Except when they scream. Like when that hunter knocked me down. Crush your skull with the rock, they said. And I did. Ron. You're alive. Oh, mother be praised. I'm sorry I followed you, but I had to make sure he was all right. No, 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 no. Please, sister, I, I, I can't protect you. I need no protection from you, Ron. How can you be certain? The voices he hears call for blood, even yours. But surely he wouldn't hurt his own sister. I've taken care of him since I was six. I... I don't want to hurt you. But the Forgotten, their... their whispers, they... they fill my head with screams. Rom, the voice that says you want to protect Alara is your true voice. You have to listen to it and go your own way. I'm sorry, Alara. But she's right. I miss you. But they will keep me company. I must go. No! Don't do this! I'll follow you then! I'll kill myself before I hurt you, sister. So do not follow. Goodbye. The others always said Brom's mind was weak. But you heard the strength. Only someone strong could carry his burden. At least we got to say goodbye. I thank you for that, Aelin. But now, I must be alone. something else behind. <laughs> 